day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is Laser Cut Lenny, and he was made using an iPad. Today, we're going to make a friend for Laser Cut Lenny using a PC. Let's start by changing the name. This will be Laser Cut Lita, or whatever fun name you pick. We're going to come over here to search, and I want you to find a tool called Softbox. When you bring it out, we're going to give it some dimensions. We always do these by typing, and we're going to type 60, press enter, type 100, and press enter. We're going to make this out of cardboard, and I'm going to make it 4 millimeters thick, because that's how thick my cardboard is. We're going to do a wall thickness of 50. We choose this number so that it fills in. You can see that now they are the same size, and I do like the outer radius of six that's how quickly we get the body of our awesome little character let's start from the top and let's do some hair i'm going to close this i'm going to bring out scribble in scribble you just need to make some sort of hair that you think is cool and then you need to plan for it being connected that is the one thing about using a laser is you got to have everything connected or it's going to cut funny if you don't like what you did you can clear the entire thing switch back to your pencil and make your cool hair however you want these pieces are all going to work out pretty nifty i think if you ever don't like what you did you can do undo and back up one step you can also erase like this you can also if you don't like what you just erased bring it back when you're done, you can hit done, and I'm going to move her hair up here, and then I'm going to change the height to 4 and press enter. I'm going to choose F for fit view, and I'm going to stretch that up to the height I want my hair. Make sure it is connected, and then I'm going to group those two pieces by doing control G, or I could have hit the group button. Bingo, she's got some hair. Next, I'm going to cut a cute little star out of her forehead. Simply find the star or any shape you think is cool, and then make sure you shrink it to a size that works, set it to a hole, make sure it pops out the top. If you want, you can select them and choose a line. Notice I've got to zoom out so that I can see the align button. And then we can do control G to group those parts and boom, she's got a cute star. If you don't like the way it's rotated, watch this, we can double click to edit, click on that little piece and then find the rotation handle. There it is. So the star is exactly the way you want. This pink means you're editing. When you click out here, it goes back to being permanent. I'm going to make the eyebrows out of scribble again, just because I think it is wicked cool. This time, though, we're going to use this tool. Now, it is so cool because it draws big shapes. Now, I'm going to clear that one because it's not what I want, but watch this. If I do spike back, spike back, spike back, spikes back, spike back, and then round it just a little... I have got a pretty nifty version of an eyebrow. Now if I don't like something, I can trim it. So notice I made a little round loop-de-loop -loop in it. And then I can also go back and I can redraw that piece again. Just like that until I'm happy. You can use all the little tools to get it exactly the way you want. If you accidentally erase instead of draw, you can just click and bring it back. You can be as perfect as you want. The cool thing about this is once you got it done, you can move it into place, make it a hole, squish it, change it, even double click, go back in and edit if there was something you thought should be a little different. When you're done, you can simply hit done. Now I'm going to hit home, zoom out, make it so it looks the way I want. So I'm squishing it just a little. I'm also going to rotate it just a little for fun. And I'm going to flip it. I want the taller piece to be on the inside. I think that's what I want. You can have fun adjusting this as much as you think you need to. Then I'm gonna do Control D and Shift Nudge, and I'm gonna flip it so they are a mirror of each other. Bingo, we have got fun eyebrows. I'm gonna select those two by holding Shift Select, and I'm going to group them so that I can also choose L for a line and put them in the middle. Bingo, let's now make some eyes. We're going to do that with the cylinder. The first thing I want you to do is make it smooth, turn it into an oval, hold down shift and squish it so it keeps that oval at the amount you want, and then turn it into a hole. I'm going to rotate my eyes just a tiny bit. Notice you just grab that corner, and then I can move them into place. 
I'm going to do control D, shift nudge, and once again, bust out that wicked cool mirror. So we've got a set. I'm going to shift select to grab the two. I'm going to group those. And let's do the align trick again. Once again, I just grabbed these two chunks. So it says two shapes. L is for align and bingo, they are where they need to be. At this point, I'm going to group those, control G, and we have got our fun little character. We just need to add these inside eyes. We're going to do this with the tube. When you bring the tube out, you need to find a size that works for you. I'm going to choose seven for mine and press enter. I'm going to choose two for mine and press enter. And then I'm also going to take the sides and I'm going to move them all the way up. Let's move that into place and see if we like it. That's too big, so I'm going to change this to 4 and see if I like that better. That's too small, so I'm going to switch to 5. And you can just mess with these too, and you can mess with these as much as you want. I am going to change the height to size 4. I'm going to do Control D and Shift Nudge to move it across. You could align these to the center, or you can do whatever you want to make them look as cool as you want. And then, of course, select them and do Control G to group. Friends, we are going to make that mouth with scribble as well, but this time we're going to do it this way. So friends, a trick I use is these grids. So I'm going to go from this corner to this corner. And I'm going to do it backwards because I just moved over here. But notice how I'm in the middle and I sweep up. And then I'm going to sweep down underneath and back up. The more you practice, the better you get. I am going to cut a tongue into this one. So watch this. I'm going to cut the tongue up and watch how this works in a minute. When we do done and bring this over, make it a hole. You can stretch, adjust, and get it just where you want. I like that. If we do control G to group, you can see it cuts out where the mouth is, and that looks like the tongue poking up. I'm also going to give her a scribble nose. This one's just going to be a cute little shape like this. Once again, hit done. Make it a hole. Let's zoom out and put it where we want, and then group it just like that. Let's real quickly add some fun ears. We're going to put the work plane over on this side so that when we bring this out, it is lined up the way we want. Now we can put the work plane back down on the ground, hit D to drop. We're then going to move it up with the arrow keys to the location you want. That way it stays in the right area. And of course, we're going to set it to four so that it looks right. That ear is pretty groovy, but I'm going to stretch it and change it till it's got the exact dimensions. Then we're going to do Control D, Shift Nudge to get it passed. We are going to flip it with the sweet flip tool. Once again, put the work plane, letter W is the shortcut, and D to drop. If you like your ears, I'm going to put the work plane back. You can group them. I'm going to nudge these down just a tiny bit so they're closer to the eyes. I like that. And shift select, control G, and group. At this point, friends, I'm going to show you how to make the stand. It is super simple. We're going to bring out a cube. Remember, we're working with 4 millimeter thick cardboard, so we're going to do 4 here and press Enter. And then I'm going to tell you to make this 10. I'm going to select those two, press L for align. We want to bring it to the middle and to the bottom. We're going to cut that out in just a moment. I'll make this four so it looks better. I'll make that four so that it fits the way it's supposed to. Friends, the next part of the stand we're going to build by putting the work plane over here on this side and then bringing out the round roof again. When we put the work plane, letter W, back down, we can hit D to drop. And this is in place for us to build it. Let's spin it around quick by doing shift rotate. That goes 45 degrees at a time. We want it to look just like that, B size 4. And then change this one to 50 and press enter. And 25 and press enter. That is going to slide right up in there to hold them. We just need to add the little nugget that locks it in place. Do control D shift nudge down and then we're going to change the size of this one i'll show you why in just a second when we press five and press enter we can then select those choose a line of course that's the shortcut l do center top and group let's also take this one and group it as well when we slide this in you can see it's going to slide up that far so this shows us how far down our feet can be 
I'm going to build those feet that come down a whole centimeter with the sweet blue wedge. When we bring it out, I need to rotate it a couple times. I'm going to hold shift and rotate it this way. And then I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to rotate it this way two clicks. So we did 90 degrees two times. Let's make it size 4 and press enter because remember that's how thick our cardboard is. Pick where it is and what you want it to look like. There you can see how, is how mine is going to look. Control D, shift nudge to split it apart, flip it, and then I'm going to do shift select and group, and then shift select with our whole Lita. Choose a line, of course that's a shortcut L, and put it where it goes. Finally, hit group. Then this is going to slide up in there later, and you can see those feet will almost touch. It looks like I might be one millimeter off, or now that nudge is back up where it's supposed to be, and it's going to be pretty much perfect. And then I'm going to simply move this into place for laser cutting. Friends, as we wrap up, I like to do a few things. I'm going to click settings, and I'm going to shut off my grid. If you click out here, it goes away. I'm going to line those up by doing L for a line, and I want it to be in the middle. I'm going to take those two and I'm going to export them so they're ready to go to my laser cutter. Laser cutter SVG. I did not select both because I'm just doing Lita. I'm going to put her in my 3D modeling folder and hit save. Now I'm also going to back out. This is how we save our project. It gets saved into the Tinkercad files. I want to make it so the whole world can see laser cut Lena. Friends, it's so easy. What you do is click here, click properties. Make sure you've got a name. I have got a description. Notice I'm going to tell you there's a tutorial. I have added tags. Of course, I'll put laser cut character. I'm also going to show you that if you tag your stuff with HLMT23 and press enter, I search for that each day. And then I'll give you a reaction for your cool creations. Finally, we have to hit public. And then I always choose attribution, no derivatives. That way people will come back and follow the awesome tutorial and gain some skills. Remember, you can give reactions by simply clicking and choosing from the available options. Friends, as I wrap up, let me remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of awesome categories. And then right below it, the first day lessons. These are great for anybody that's just starting out in Tinkercad. Friends, I also want to highlight the super cool built-in messaging. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad community discord. As you can see, there are more than 600 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.